Here we go, property update. This one's nearly done. Upstairs in the top room, you can see it's all decorated. Got a new Velux window there. Uh, all the woodwork's painted throughout. Still got the carpet to put down. Carpet always goes down last. Stairs are all painted. Obviously put a little strip of the gloss a little bit closer so that when you put the stairs or the, the, the carpet all the way down there, just looks a bit neater. Handrails painted. This is quite quite a tight stair. It's all original. We haven't put the stairs in. You can see by the, the age of the um, the wood there that it's it's old. It's original. That's how it was. So I don't think that would be modern building regulations, but it certainly has it was built, and so that's absolutely fine. See the builders here are just uh, getting ready and getting ready for the next job. They're they're packing up here really. So this uh, this one all decorated throughout. The heating's on now, as you see. This um, this will all get boxed in, so we'll put all that uh, in a box there to make it neat and tidy. We wouldn't normally fit a boiler in a bedroom, but we certainly won't be moving it, so it will get boxed in. Uh, that was there before we before we bought the house, and there's no point in moving it. We'll just leave it there. It'll be neatly boxed in, and it'll just look like a wardrobe. Windows will get cleaned, things like this get cleaned up, but these are the next jobs. This. It's nice to see the guys have pre-painted and glossed that, so it's a really nice, good job. And it'll be put on the walls uh, around there, and there's a couple of bits of skirting boards to change as well. But otherwise, it's completely decorated, all done. Going down the stairs again, all decorated, looking good. So this one's probably got slightly less than a week to be finished. All cleared out in here, and again, the guys have stripped all the walls off, repaired them, put everything back and repainted. You can still kind of just about see that the paint is still drying there. So, and there and there. Kitchen's in. So the kitchen is, um, I'd probably say that's 80% in. So we've still got to cut the um, sink in, the hob and then tile. So that's job for today. Just here a little bit earlier than the builders. The builders have gone to pick up some materials in the bathroom, very close to being finished. Uh, on the last update, you'll have noticed the builders have put the bath in this way around, the other way around, and uh, that was a mistake. They've spun it around, hadn't checked the drawings properly, so we picked up on that last week. Told them to spin the bath around. It's been fitted, so that's actually a lot, lot closer to being finished than it even looks. So really all that's got to be left that done there is uh, more tiles. Uh, tiles on the floor have got to go down uh, for, for to do that the toilet comes out there is less than two days work there to finish that entire bathroom all the plumbing's finished the bath's in when you flush the toilet the water goes in the right place then the system refills so it's pretty much done it's warm in here now we've got heating so that's a good thing you can see that we had to make another repair to the roof it found its way in there and there was another bit and you can see that we've got uh, new joists in there and a new um, membrane that's all fixed no more leaks that took a little bit longer than we uh, we'd first anticipated because there was a quite a lot to do on the roof um, this is all new lining paper here this is all new plaster as is the case all the way through again that was a little bit more than we'd uh, first anticipated but everything sort of started falling off as soon as it was put on um, and the same with some of the electric work and that uh, took a little bit longer as well but all in all nothing unexpected just three or four things into the contingency this here is all just gear to go to the next uh, to the next project stuff left over and it's all going out so another um, another day and I think that will be clear because the the guys want to put the carpets in here other than that this place is all decorated because it's been used as a bit of a storeroom there'll definitely be things that we need to uh, touch up there we go that's the end of the update another few days and this will be 100% uh, finished we'll get it on the market uh, about now I think we could realistically show a tenant around about now and uh, they've got a good chance of taking it even in its, in its unfinished state and certainly two or three days from now when all the materials are out the paint's finally dried 
kitchen's in properly, the bathroom's in properly, even if the builder's still here touching up a little bit. You know, those skirting boards from upstairs, for example, have still got to be fitted there. But, you know, that kind of thing's overlooked from a tenant quite often, and they're eager to get a place that's freshly decorated and, and refurbished. So we quite often rent it even in you know, an unfinished state. That's the end of the update.